This is from at M Mark Varley. At M R Varley sixty four. What are the differences between challenging and frustrating game difficulty? Okay. Uh, challenging difficulty means that it's reliant on your skills as a gamer, whether or not you are prosperous or you fail. Frustrating, it's not. Frustrating is more trial and error to me. It's stuff that you have not a chance to learn beforehand or adapt to. I I, I bring up um, Mega Man. Mega Man. I I like Mega Man for the record, but I just knew to me, this was going to be your yeah. Mega Man is more frustrating than challenging because there are parts in the game that if you have not seen before, you will die. Right. I you I w- will die because your skill as a gamer does not matter because you don't know what's coming and you don't know what hazards coming in order to adapt for it. I that's feel- that's 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 probably when people say why don't you like Mega Man? That's why. I, because to me, it's not natural for a game to automatically kill you before, for you to learn. I don't, I don't like that. I don't feel like Mega Man is at fault at that, or is at fault for that as much as you do. Although I do see it, but um, that's a absolutely a major reason why I think Battletoads is a shitty game. Besides a, a billion, a billion other reasons. Oh yeah, there are there are levels where literally you have no idea. You can no stand idea. there and watch the block patterns for a minute in Mega Man and try to figure it out. Now some things like the. The, the, I'm talking about the, the, the death rays I come across. Yeah, you know, I mean, like you're like what? <laughs> you know, you know that's a that's quick. That's a little too quick, I would say, for you know being able to do that on the first try with reflexes if you're good. Now going back to it, oddly for whatever, it just, I think it makes sense. I think bullet hell shooters are an interesting mix of the, of the two because your your skill should be enough to help you guide oh, with no, your bullets. I but, don't complain with those, but. A lot of times those things release death blooms, and if you haven't seen that death bloom before, yeah, you can still weave because you still have that tiny hitbox, but you still there's there's a there's a ninety percent chance that you're gonna have to learn that. But that is uh, the same skill just expanded. Sure, that's the difference. Sure. So you're you're learning how to dodge bullets little by little, you're but not, even more. You're not jumping from jumping up and popping the little helmet guys with your Buster yes, cannon to, to falling and trying to, to falling navigate, with death right. rays. And you have if you're not unless you're perfect, you're not getting through it. That's what I mean. Yeah. Okay, uh, I brought up, I brought up and people always make fun of me for this that I bring up Flintstones dinosaur peak a lot. There is a lot of stuff in Flintstones dinosaur peak that you will die. You just will. I just think it's funny that you brought up Flintstones. I'm going to bring it up every week. I'm bringing up my Flintstones Dinosaur Peak review. Every week. 